We like farming everything using automatic farms, but today we are doing the complete opposite and seeing if it's possible to farm 1 million wheat in 200 days without using any farms. The only thing we can use is our bare hands and we won't stop before the 200 days have passed. The next step after setting a goal is to have a game plan and we don't have that. But a quick google search shows us that people have farmed wheat manually for years. And it seems pretty straightforward. Just plant it onto a farmland, wait, and then harvest. Our only advantage is that the materials have evolved so far that instead of a stone hoe, we can now use one made out of netherite. And here we have not one, but two fully enchanted netherite hoes we can use. And from this chest here, I can grab all the. Oh, wait, we only have 2000 seeds. This is definitely not enough to collect 1 million wheat. But it's a good starting point. Maybe also a couple of beacons. These will help us build the wheat area faster. And that is basically it for our item collection. Because we still want to collect all the wheat manually. The place we are building our wheatland is here. Right next to the water and lava pyramids. We are gonna start off small because we only have 2000 seeds and would like to get the seed numbers up as soon as possible. So our 2000 seeds are now growing and our plan was to continue building this row forward until the farmland is just huge. But we can't do that because Minecraft has limitations. And Lowry will explain why. So wheat only grows when you are next to it. And no, you don't need to be that close. Here in my test world, I planted a huge area of seeds. And look what happens when I speed up the time. Everything grows, but there is a limit on how far it grows around me. We then took some measurements on what the maximum area is. And now we know how big we can build it. We then got back to making the wheat area bigger. One collected, I guess. Okay, our first batch of wheat is now ready, and we can harvest using the most professional method. Just open these trap doors, and the water will flow down. I hope we get a lot of seeds and wheat. The result is here. We got 4,600 seeds, and 890 wheat. Now let's place back all the seeds and build even more farmlands. The reason why we are doing the straight lines up is so we could harvest them pretty often and get enough seeds for the whole area. The days are going by quickly when building such a huge thing. This is also one of the reasons why we chose to do 200 days instead of 100 days. The other reason is because it's our video and we make the rules here. Here is the progress so far. We have collected 16,000 wheat in these shulker boxes here. And the four long sides are all complete. But after we harvest and replant all of this wheat, we are going to expand this area even more by filling up all the corners with more farmland. In the four sides we are growing almost 15,000 seeds. But it doesn't mean we will get 15,000 wheat when harvesting everything. Since who has the time to wait until all of them are grown up? Definitely not us. Now our first corner is finished with the maximum sized wheat field. We only need to repeat it three more times to finish this area. But first, harvesting the whole wheat area again. With the day count already over 50, we are a bit worried about whether 200 days is enough to even finish the wheat field build. We are not even close to finishing our wheat field, but it already takes us 35 repetitive minutes to replant all of the seeds here.
I know we said we're not gonna use any redstone, but everything here takes a lot of time and opening these trap doors is like super annoying. To solve this, I'm gonna build nothing other than a lever that opens all the trap doors at once. Now imagine everything here is full of wheat, and I didn't screw up by building the redstone. I can flip this lever here and the water should start flowing down. And it's... Ah, <sighs> it's broken. Hold on a minute, how can we make sure that the server doesn't crash when opening all the trap doors at once? Well first we have our high end PCs, but then we have a really high end server hosted by our sponsor Wise Hosting, a Minecraft hosting company made by us, providing high end solutions at a fair price. From our game panel you have full control over the server, just one click install for mods or mod packs, change the versions or the best part, just contact our support if you ever get stuck with anything. So if you've been thinking about hosting a server then go to wisehosting.com and use the special code WEED to get 20% off from your first month. I'd like to thank myself for sponsoring this video and remember to use code WEED to save some money. One quick fix later and now it is working perfectly and the amount of wheat we get every time is increasing a lot. Look at the wheat here, doesn't seem a lot right? Enabling the hitboxes you can see how many there actually are, it's crazy. After this harvest we have this many sharker boxes of wheat which is exactly 81,600 wheat collected. The time is at day 100, so we had a war room meeting and from now on we are only focusing on building the wheat field. After everything is built, we can put our grind set back on just farming the wheat. After 115 days of playing Minecraft, we can finally say we are done with the building part. So that leaves us 85 days to focus on farming only. We have now reached the maximum size wheat field and it's time to harvest all of this. Our huge harvest, which we barely managed to handle before the entity started disappearing, got us over 51,000 wheat. Those are pretty big numbers, but we must keep on going until the 200 days have passed. Every replant to see here of the huge wheat field took us 2 hours to do, and this is 2 people doing it full time. It's pretty crazy and annoying, but that's what makes it into a challenge. Our time started running out fast, so for the last and final planting we didn't even do the whole wheat field. And the 200 days have finally gone by and it is time to count up the final result. The number is 402,560 wheat collected in 200 Minecraft days. That's a big yikes. 
Doing the calculations now, we can see that hitting 1 million wheat could happen if we played for another 200 days of just farming. So we sadly have to announce that we failed this challenge. But hopefully we didn't fail to entertain you guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. See ya! Bye!